Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Learning with Jelly. So today is part four of our method series for strings. Now, if you've missed the first five videos, yes, I said five because the first one is an intro video, please go back and watch those. But this whole module has been talking about data types. And particularly, we have been talking about things that we can do with text data types called strings. So let's go ahead and look at our agenda for today. So we want to still recall that definition of a method. And we're going to talk about how we can strip blank spaces from our text data, which is going to be very, very important for when you're cleaning data or wanting to standardize data. You're gonna wanna get rid of some of those spaces. So we're gonna talk about .l strip, which is gonna strip blank spaces from the left, dot r strip, blank spaces from the right, and dot strip is going to strip everything. So what are strings? Just in case this is the first video that you're watching. So strings are commonly text data that is surrounded by single and double quotes. Yes, numbers can be strings if they are surrounded by quotes. So what is a method? So everything in Python is an object, especially the variables that we create. And an action or a transformation on that object is considered a method. And it usually has parentheses following it. So the example that we have used in the past three lessons, if we have a basketball, the method or action that the basketball can do is a dot bounce and it ends with a parentheses or a dot shoot and that ends in a parentheses. And then certain characteristics of the basketball itself is not going to have parentheses and those are considered attributes, but we'll talk about that later. So using L strip, R strip, and strip to remove blank space. So L strip, as I mentioned, is going to remove characters from the left, R strip from the right, and dot strip is going to be from both the left and the right. So let's look at some examples here. So in this case, I have a variable, and this variable name is blood pressure, but it looks like someone typed it in with a whole bunch of leading spaces. This is very common. So I want to take that space out so I can just do a dot L strip, and it's going to strip those spaces from the left off. So now let's look at our second variable, which is insulin and has empty spaces to the right. So we're going to call the name of the object, which is variable two, and we're going to do a dot R strip. And when I do that, I see that I got rid of those empty spaces from the right. And now we can do both sides. So we have variable three underscore new, and we're going to set that equal to variable three, which is the object above, and we're just going to do dot strip to get rid of all of that. And then we can call a nice little print statement so we can actually see variable three underscore new. And here we see that it has stripped off our empty spaces. So we also can strip certain characters other than blank spaces. So say, for instance, you have a name of a variable that has a whole bunch of zeros on either side. You can call dot strip with the zero, and it also can strip that out for you as well. So in summary, everything in Python is an object, and objects have its own methods and attributes. And the dot strip can remove any character that you want it's most commonly used to remove spaces, and it's very helpful when we're trying to clean up our data and have a standard data column. So thank you for tuning in to Learning with Jelly. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to follow along with the notebook, the link to the GitHub is going to be in the description below. And our last lesson in module two is coming up next, where we're going to talk very briefly about Boolean data types. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.